Hello and welcome to InstaForex Economic News TV channel with me, Ekaterina Stichina. You are watching the currency and commodity market review for the previous week. The euro-US dollar pair printed a margin drop. Overall, the American currency ended the week on a solid footing. On Friday, investor sentiment was influenced by downbeat data from the US labor market, which was the key macro highlight of the entire week, closely watched by most market participants. The euro-US pair closed Friday session at 1.404, posting a weekly loss of 58 pips from the high mark of 1.1593 recorded on Thursday, the single European currency shed 189 pips versus its US peer. Friday saw a string of gloomy employment fundamentals from the United States. The figures cast a shadow of uncertainty over the country's sustainable economic recovery path. Reducing the likelihood of the interest rate increase by the US Federal Reserve at the next policy meeting scheduled for June 15. As the greenback staged a solid rebound last week, the American currency managed to break its losing streak against other major following an almost 7% plunge observed since the beginning of the year. In April, the US economy generated 160,000 jobs in the non-farm and private sector, which was far below the projected 202,000. At the same time, the unemployment rate held steady at 5% in April in line with the expectations. On Friday, the Australian dollar sank by 1.4%, landing at its two months low of 0.7352 US dollars after the Reserve Bank of Australia downgraded its co-inflation forecast. The Aussie was down by 244 pips for the week. The markets viewed the central bank's auctions as another signal that the regulator leaves the room for further monetary policy easing. The RBA cut its benchmark interest rate to 1.75% at its regular meeting on May 3rd. That was all about the latest tendencies in the currency market. As to commodity market, oil futures aged higher on Friday. The Reagan wildfire in Canada disrupted oil sands operation in the region, triggering a wave of buy orders. Brent crude oil for settlement in July climbed by 36 cents or 0.8 percent, reaching $45.32 per barrel on the London-based IC futures exchange. Despite the modest rise booked on Friday, Brent futures still slid by $2 or 5.73 percent for the week. June contracts for WTI advanced by 34 cents or 0.77%, finishing Friday's deals at $44.66 per barrel. Nevertheless, by the end of the week, the price looked a tumble of $1.24 or 2.74%. On Friday, gold prices sold by almost 2% after a report revealed that non-farm employment growth in the United States turned in the weakest performance in seven months. Gold for June delivery on the comics diversion of the New York Mercantile Exchange hit an intraday high of $1,297.70 per three ounce. The yellow metal then paired some of its gains to trade at $1,279.95, adding around 1.5% for the session. Over the week, gold prices rose by $3.5, or 0.29%. The upside in gold was limited on Friday as New York Fed President William Dudley pointed out in prepared remarks that two hikes in the Fed funds rate targeted this year were still a reasonable expectations. You have been watching the weekly currency and commodity market review on InstaForex TV. It was presented to you by me, Ekaterina Stichina. Have a great day. See you.